What's going on everybody? It's your boy Mike Brooks with Mike's Madden School and we are here with another session today talking about how to make money playing video games by streaming, live streaming your gameplay from the PlayStation 5 onto YouTube as well as accepting YouTube's terms and conditions. So previously I made a video for the PlayStation 4 and a lot of us have upgraded to the PlayStation 5. We're starting new accounts and things of that nature. So if you're brand new and you're just starting out with the PlayStation 5 and you're having trouble live streaming on YouTube and accepting YouTube's terms and conditions, this video is the video for you. So stay tuned. Class is now in session. Okay, welcome to class, ladies and gentlemen. We are not going to take up too much of your time today on this video. I'm gonna go over four things that you need to know as a step-by-step -step process to make this happen. First, we're gonna go over how to link your YouTube channel to your PS5. Then we're gonna go over how to set up your broadcast settings. Next, we're gonna go over how to make sure that your YouTube channel is even eligible to go live. And last but not least, we're going to go over how to actually go live to your YouTube channel from your PlayStation 5. Now keep in mind, this is going to be all done from your PC or laptop. This cannot be done from your phone unless you have more than 1K subscribers. That's 1,000 subscribers. You cannot go live on your phone unless you have over 1,000 subscribers. So keep that in mind for those who don't have a PC, you may need to borrow one or kind of work that out, but you won't be able to do this on your phone. So let's go ahead and link our YouTube account to our PlayStation 5. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the settings icon at the top. Then you're gonna click on users and accounts. Next, you're gonna scroll down to link other services and then click on YouTube. Now, if you already have a YouTube account linked to your PlayStation 5 already, just click on unlink account to link the new account that you wanna link. This screen will come up just to make sure you're sure you wanna unlink account and you're just gonna click on yes, unlink. Now you're ready to link your new account. If you didn't have an account already linked, this screen would have popped up already with the option to link your new account. Next, you're gonna sign in to the PlayStation Network then choose the account that you actually want to link to your PlayStation 5. Then click allow. This is the next screen you'll see to make sure it's all done, then just click on done. Next, we're gonna set up the broadcast settings. So go ahead and click on the settings tab once again, and we can go ahead and set up the broadcast settings just the way we like them. So first you wanna scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says captures and broadcasts. So when you click down to broadcast, You'll see a couple of options. You'll see video quality, audio, camera, overlays, and chat to speech. So video quality is basically setting up the resolution to your broadcast. I recommend that you use 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames. That way you won't have any delay in your broadcast. Next, if you click on audio, make sure this is ticked on if you wanna include audio from players in the voices of the chat that their voice is allowed to be shared. So if you wanna team up with somebody and both of you guys on the broadcast in a party chat and you wanna include vo both voices, make sure this is ticked on. Next, if we go to camera settings, this is basically if you have a camera, PlayStation camera, you can configure that camera here. Um, and you'll be able to test out the camera and it'll be able to show your picture. If you, have a green screen where it says clipping mask. You wanna make sure the chroma key is on and then you can adjust the level to make sure the lighting is correct. With everything else, you just wanna kinda of play with it, see how it looks. Um, you can click on focus on your face so they make sure they know they're looking at you. That way it looks the best on the broadcast. Next, we have overlays. This is if you wanna display your chat in your main screen. I usually don't like doing it because it takes away from the screen to actually play the game. So I'll have my phone up on the side so I can look at the chat and, and 
interact with my audience. You can also place your face if you have the camera in different corners of the screen, whichever fits your game the best. The last option is chat to speech. Now this is a feature I've never used. I didn't feel it was necessary, but you are more than welcome to play with that um, if you feel that is necessary for your game. So next, let's test out going live. First things first, you have to open up whatever game you want to live broadcast. You can't open up the live broadcast in the home screen. Once you open up your game, you want to hit the share button on your PlayStation controller, which is right here. Once you hit the share button, this little option screen will open up and then you want to click on broadcast right here on the right side. So next you may or may not see the option to select YouTube or Twitch. If you do select YouTube and then you will see this screen come up to verify your account. So now this is where we're going to go over to our laptop and on YouTube to verify our account. Don't try to click on go to YouTube website because it won't work. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this over to the PC or your laptop and we're gonna go to YouTube and we're going to, one, we're gonna check to see if you're eligible to go live and then two, we're gonna show you how to accept YouTube's terms and conditions to be able to go live on your PlayStation. I've already recorded this on a previous video, so I'm going to show you that clip now and we'll be back. So for this part of the video, I'm going to slow the pace down just so you can follow along. First thing you want to do is you want to go to your computer or laptop and open up YouTube there. Make sure you're on the right YouTube channel that you want to enable live streaming to. Then you want to go to your YouTube studio to make sure you have broadcasting enabled. Next, you want to click on settings. Then click on channel. And after that, you're going to click on the feature eligibility to see if you're eligible to go live on YouTube channel. If your live broadcast has not been enabled, just complete the task that YouTube wants you to complete. Usually it may be to verify your phone number or email or something like that to get verified. Once you see that you're eligible and you have live broadcasting or live streaming enabled, you can go to the next step. Next, you wanna hit the create button at the top right hand corner. It will drop down to upload a video or go live. So click on go live. Being that this is your first time, you should see some YouTube instructions click on that you want to go live right now. Next, click on that you have a built-in webcam and don't worry about the software or external software. You won't need that at all. Now you just want to fill out the information just like you were going to start a real stream. It doesn't matter what the title you put in. You can put in test title, first stream, whatever you want. Click on to make this public and know this is not for kids. You can put in whatever description, whatever type, sports, gaming, doesn't even matter. We're just going to kind of blow through this right here. Once you're done, click next. When it tells you the stream cannot be created, click on finish. You will then see this message ready in 24 hours and it takes 24 hours to activate your account for live streaming. And once you activate, once activated, you can go live instantly and there you have it. That's it. So now once you wait your 24 hours, then you can come back to any game you want to broadcast, click on the broadcast option and this screen will come up. From here, you're just going to type in your title, your description, add in any tags that you want, and then click on go live. Also, if you notice, there's three little dots on the side of go live. This is giving you the option to check out your broadcast options one last time before you go live to make sure all the settings are to your liking and then you can just click on go live. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. 
hit that subscribe, hit that bell notification icon so you'll never miss any of our videos that we're going to help you make money playing video games. We have all brand new content that just came up recently showing you how to make graphics for your thumbnails so definitely check that out and if you have any questions or concerns definitely shoot me a question in the comments and i'll try to get to as many as i can i really appreciate all you guys support since the first time we made this video thank you so much without further ado class is dismissed have a great weekend take care